So again, Ellery and Bernard, if you're basing it off of Highlander and the quickening, Sean Connery and or Christopher Lammer, right? All it takes is for one of them, like I said, to conceive one, the, one of their characteristics of women or those women to breed can have one, conceive one child, okay, with the man with the other characteristic. But I'm telling you, it basically proves that Dave and Perlita them had to have stolen it. So if, if Ellery comes running down like a buffoon, right, from Michigan, like the quickening on each side, like I said, this is where, if you're going to hold that characteristic trait with Bernard Eva Chance or Freeman, with Aaron and Victor based upon that movie to make immortals, and you guys are all jacked up until a man, Stan, Joe, starting to understand, it shows who they, who, who, who they, Red Randy and some of them attacked or country and western and ghetto life and then they breed that way and that's why you guys look that way based upon who stole it Joe the Balamad boy, Balamorad boy or whoever's in those houses with Ellery so remember based upon how they face the direction so if Ellery fled to the north after this whole incident what does that mean but he came down like the quickening so be careful Aaron and Victor and Bernard, because it takes all it takes is because you guys keep shoveling people down in certain corners. If, if one of those girls conceived one child, and this is where Menard and Georgiana or whoever the Indian woman or Episcopal Church, I'm telling you, Ellery ran those to cover up that they were thieves and they stole them. They're the blue boy boxes, and then you guys bred that way. That's why your teeth and all that were all the ones that helped them touched. That's why you guys' teeth and bodies were all like that. Because they know they stole it to deface and screw up those people. Jim Hall build the ball. No, it's how you guys sit. Just like a chessboard. And you guys breed that way. Like I said, marks and torture and all that stuff show up. There's a reason why. Like I said, if they didn't like the Jews or the Russians or the Schwartzes or the Imes. All goes to the travel in which you see the Negroes helping them go in their direction to steal. Right? Eventually it'll correct, but they all decided to change their mind after the fact. Like I said, you guys knew a relationship somewhere, whether it was through Bailey and Kim and or my cousins, based upon sight visual. And that's why you guys bred, that's why you guys got fat. That's why I'm saying, Judy Shepard, it doesn't belong to you. He may have yanked it and then put him in your hand. Remember, Japanese too, so. And you guys can pretty much prove the entire attack. But all it takes, Bernard, since you want to be a smart ass, is somebody being smart enough since they've seen the process out of you several, the group of you several times, is all they needed to do is get a hold of some of the right girls or that list of girls. And if one of them conceived one child, Bernard, while you're conducting your little war with the circus and the cowboy hillbillies, all they needed to do was conceive one child with the right characteristics and by your own standard of, you know, Highlander or, you know, how you conduct business, Bernard. <laughs> you guys wiped out your whole genetic line. So during warfare, Bernard, you should take things into consideration of which directions you travel and who you attack. because it explains how we, we end up the way we are. Because Bernard, you have a chance to con man or Freeman or the Balamorad boy, you guys, all it took was enough, like the Israelis or Jews, to sneak in there a little bit, conceive a child, not really interfere. And guess what, Bernard? Following one piece of advice I had, if they were successful, they wiped out by your own standard of how you conduct business through movies, wiped out your entire genetic line. So how bad do you want to be a communist or Nazi? So remember when you're running an invert and you think you know that you're following a command or an order from people from the past that you think they have your interests in mind, be careful. Because like I said, that might be the very reason why you guys are in a red. 
So, like I said, Karen and Dave, it never belonged to you. You might be the ones who stole it, and then the breeding process, depending on how you handed it. So, you can run around and hide all you want, Dave, but you guess the way you guys set it in after the theft. Guaranteed. So, and all to get laid, pretty much. So, that's what that guy does. And we found that he's, he's, he's pretty real and he knows. But guess what, Robo Knight? If that was you who touched me or something went wrong down there, Joe, that's the reason. Because somebody didn't tell you the truth. If that was Greg coming over to set in and do it right, then somebody sabotaged him. And then if you guys believe that it belonged to Google or whatever, belonged to Quinwans or the Beswicks, boom, 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 boom. They thought it was a breed machine. But you guys said in that way, Freeman's claiming a blue and somebody else did Harry and you guys were wrong. So remember, if Ellery's going to come running down like the quickening and make fun of movies, I know where Joe made fun of Princess Bride or Top Gun. That, that's why you guys breed that way, all from your intent and motives. And that's why you all look that way. So yes, we could prove Google Duncan. You guys took it to try to be heroes, but um, characteristically, genetically, um, it didn't fare out too well for you. And so no, Judy Shepard, it doesn't belong to you or living water, but you all can pretend and you can be racist, but as long as you guys keep doing that and not returning it to where it really needs and resolving those issues, you're all going to have problems because, like I said, the direction of who you all are paying off and grifting all American and Dillaman, guess what? He knows you guys have been in his house and lied and jacked his stuff and jacked my stuff and other people's stuff and then tried to get them killed. And you guys will breed that way until the issue is resolved. So be careful who you guys claim to be the hero because they're only making them heroes based upon the money they receive. And so that's why they have a pecking order of which families to attack because they know what they took from them and then, you know, the more jacked up you guys get. So is your racism worth it? Because I can tell you, Aaron, based upon baseball and what you guys are trying to claim, that royal blue line that you guys keep trying to take isn't yours. And football, Red Randy, you guys just keep dripping it in. So you guys can, but... It's going to make you look stupid for a long, long time with those egos and what you guys profess is the rulership of the earth or the cosmos, and you're not.